big kit review time again, and it's another one from the Munson's range, and this is their limited edition Six Nations beer kits. Uh, these are very reasonably priced, around the £20 mark, and they're going to produce about 20 pints of beer for you. You get everything you need inside the kit to make the beer, and there are a choice of five other kits, obviously to do with the, the Six Nations, and you also get a chance to win tickets to the Six Nations. There's a unique code at the top of the instructions, which you go online, there's a website win.munsonshomebrew.com, you enter your unique code, answer a simple question, enter your details, and you get a chance to win tickets to the Six Nations. Um, there are obviously five other kits, encompassing England, Wales, Scotland, France, Italy, and I've chosen Ireland, which is going to produce an Irish Red Ale, which is a, a particular favourite of mine, so I thought I'd give that a crack. Um, very simple instructions, pretty much the same as the, um, the Courage kit that I brewed recently. Um, but there's kind of quite an, sort of something a bit different about this kit, which I quite like that it includes. So the bucket you actually get everything in is going to be your fermenting vessel. Let's get that off. We'll get to that in a minute. You get a spoon for stirring it all up, mixing it. This is the, the malt extract, which is going to make the actual kit. Your packet of yeast. Some steriliser. Small length of siphon tube, and then you get a little poly bag or poly pin, if you want to call it, and tap so that when you've, your beer is finished fermenting, you add some sugar to this, add your finished beer to this, put the tap on, allow it to condition, and then the, the, the container will swell out. It's normally a cube shape, obviously, where it's come from the factory, it's that kind of shape at the moment. And you can serve your beer straight from that, which is, I think, an excellent idea. You know, rather than kind of going for the bottles, you're actually getting something to dispense your beer in straight from the kit as well. So I'm, I'm going to run through the kit. It's it's really as simple as kind of setting that in some hot water, allowing it to loosen up, pouring it in, topping it up with cold water to 20 litres, adding your yeast, fermenting out, making sure everything is sterilised prior with the included steriliser. Once the um, the beer is down to its final gravity, racked into this, and then allowed to condition, and then be ready for serving. I'm hoping that this can be ready just in time for Christmas. I want to cut back to the video and just be near Christmas and be allowed this serving some beer. So first part is simply adding four teaspoons of the sterilizer provided. That's what we're going to do. That's going to give you plenty to sterilize the, the cube later on. And then adding four litres, or it says five litres roughly, of warm water. Mainly so that the, the steriliser dissolves. Then some kind of brush to kind of stir it all in. Give the sides a good clean just to make sure there's nothing kind of in there from when it's in the factory and whatnot. Then they recommend putting the lid back on tight. and then letting it sit for 10 minutes just to give it a good sterilise and then we're going to cut back to adding the water extract so in the meantime I'm going to soak this into some warm water or some water from the kettle just so enough that it covers it to loosen the malt up inside the tin because when it's cold it just kind of comes out very gloopy you want it to kind of run out for you okay so the bucket's all sterilised we've um, rinsed out the steriliser then rinsed out with cold water now we're going to add the malt extract. Then we're going to fill that up with 500ml of warm water to get the rest of the malt extract out of the tin. And the instructions also say to add 3 litres of warm water to dilute the rest of the extract. Then use your sterilised spoon to stir what's left in the tin. And then we need 
seven litres of cold water to top up. But first, we're going to make sure that it's all stirred in and there's no more extract gathered at the bottom. Grab some cold water. Right, so we've topped it up with seven litres of cold water now. And I must say, the instructions are really quite good, really kind of done in a simplistic way to kind of guide you through the litreage and what you need to add. Kind of, you really can't go wrong. Um, that's all been added. Best to give it a really good stir, get lots of oxygen in there before you have the yeast. And then, pretty much, it is a case of sprinkling your yeast on. And now this kit doesn't come with any kind of airlock or anything, but all it suggests that you do is you seal the lid completely down, except leaving one corner off, and that's to allow the CO2 to escape. Um, you'll find that this lid is quite a, a snap shut lid, that you'll, you'll get the corner down and you'll hear it kind of click into place, but just make sure you don't kind of seal them all down, otherwise you're gonna, the lid's gonna start bowing up once the, the CO2 levels get high enough, and then it will just pop off. So leave the corner just off slightly, just to allow the CO2 to escape and let the beer ferment out. So pretty much we're going to cut back once it's time to fill the, the little poly cube up and then after that it'll be time for some drinking. Right so it's time to finally put the Irish red ale that we brewed up from the Months and Six Nations kit into the, the poly pin provided. Um, first of all we're just going to put some steriliser in there with some warm water, give it a good shake and get it sterilised. Right, so we've added the steriliser some warm water and as you can see it's taken on a more of a, a cube shape now like you'd expect and uh, it's a good time to make sure that the tap's in the off position because you don't want to be putting all your beer in there and then turning on its side and finding out you've got leaking beer everywhere. Um, that's pretty much it for this stage just to uh, let it sit for a little bit give it, make sure it's really clean put it over the sink I'd even turn the tap on a little bit and let the steriliser run through the tap just to make sure everything's clean. So as you can see, we started siphoning off into the poly pin. Um, what I did as well was the steriliser that was remaining in the poly pin, put it into a bucket or anything else, and use the hose that you're gonna siphon from to sterilize the hose in the bucket with the, uh, the remaining steriliser. It's just a simple case of drawing off the, the beer from the fermenter into the pin, but you do need to add 20 grams of brewing sugar. And what I've done is just mixed it with a little bit of boiling water so that it's dissolved a bit, and I'm just gonna Pour that in now, and that will get mixed in with the beer. Then we'll seal it up, and then we'll give it a try in a few days' time. Okay, guys, so we have one full cube. Um, the siphon hose was just the right length. It was it was pretty easy to get into. It does say that you should try and get it on its like this. Open the cap, make sure you pushed any sort of last remaining air out inside before screwing the cap on. Um, there's not a lot of room in there really to be fair once all the beer's gone in there it's quite it's you know it's just the right size um, it does say on here that if the ball turns into or if the cube rather turns into more of a ball shape to kind of turn it this way up and undo the tap gently to release some of the pressure because there's obviously no pressure release valve it's just going to keep swelling and swelling and that's the, the build up of the CO2 that's generated from the, the yeast eating the remaining bit of the, the sugar the little 20 grams of sugar that you put in which is going to give you your, the beer, the, you know, the carbonation when you dispense it. But if it's too much or, you know, for whatever reason it hasn't finished fermenting, um, mine has, I've checked the gravity, it's been stable, it's fine. Um, but that's the way you're going to have to release the pressure, otherwise you could, I suppose it would break the seam and then you'd have beer everywhere. Um, I do feel slightly wary about having the beer just kind of in that, that it's just going to split kind of one way, but I'm, I'm thinking I might put it on something else, something like a, a builder's truck or something like that, just, just for the first few days while it's conditioning that and I'm getting confident with it. But I like this idea of, of kind of packaging the beer, it's, it beats bottling, you know, just transferring this and be able to dispense. It reminds me of uh, the days of using kegs and that, but this is kind of much more easy to use and sort of clean and whatnot. It was, it's a good idea, I like this, and if it works well, it could be a way of me dispensing beer, you know, for some of my other brews. So we'll cut back after about, we're going to put it somewhere warm for a couple of days, uh, then leave it probably for another week, so probably nearer, it's near Christmas now, uh, nearer probably Christmas day-ish, 
we're gonna we're gonna draw off a pint and see what it's like. It's now time to conclude the Irish Red Ale kit with a taste test and uh, an overall review of the beer. So you remember that I brewed up this kit. You've seen it in the, uh, the previous footage. It's now in the poly pin. It's been there a while. I haven't got round to drinking it as soon as I thought I would. Um, I have to admit the poly pin has stood up really well. Um, I did have a little few reservations that how well would it work, would it leak, and it hasn't leaked at all. And um, I, it did balloon a little bit more and I did release a little bit of pressure, but I'm, I'm hoping I didn't release too much pressure because that's the, that's the other worry. If you release too much, you're not going to get any extra carbonation in there, but you're generally going to get, I think, like almost like a cask ale type beer rather than sort of anything overly carbonated like in a bowl. Um, but it has stood up really well and I did check with Muntlands and they recommend you can get about 10 uses out of this because you can get another like a refill so what you would do and it says on the instructions as well if you purchase a 40 pint 1.5 kilo kit of your choice and follow the instructions given here and not that comes with the kit and then you can just use it again and what I loved most was the fact that you've got everything in this kit you've got I mean the, the box that it comes in is the fermenter you've got something to package your beer in which as a first time brewer, you know, you might not have sort of 20 empty bottles to even put your beer in. So, so something that you've already got included in the kit to put your beer in and dispense from is excellent. You know, and for the price, you know, around the £20 mark, I don't think it can be beaten in terms of, you know, well, I'm yet to do the taste test. But in terms of what you get for a beginner or even if you're not a beginner, if you just want something quick and easy, ideal Christmas thing for me I think to have a little poly pin like that at Christmas time ready to serve on the side of people is fantastic you know there's, there's no fuss in terms of getting it put in there whatsoever so I'll just point the camera down you can see it's in there nicely gonna turn a tap on As I say, I might have released possibly a little bit too much when I released it, but it was ballooning a bit. But again, I don't, you know, the recommended sugar that they tell you to put in there, you're going to get a kind of a cask ale type carbonation rather than anything too fizzy. Now, just looking at it, you can't always pick the clarity up on the camera, but it is quite clear, I have to admit. There's a little bit a little bit of haze in there ever so slightly but it's very clear actually it's cleared out really really nice so I'm gonna dive in it smells pretty good actually hmm it's very good it's very uh definitely very malty if you're into your malty beers this is a, a real malty one I'd say there's not an awful lot of, you know, I've, I've, other reviews of kit beers and that. There can be a kind of an indicator that, you know, it's a kit beer. If you've never brewed a kit beer before, you wouldn't know it. Um, when you sort of brew other beers, you kind of get this sort of taste that you think is only in kit beers. And um, it's hard to put your finger on where that taste comes from, but I would say it's it's not in this at all. But, I, you know, this has been, how long has it been packaged? It's probably been a good couple of weeks in here now, and uh, it's cleared down nicely. I think any residual yeast that's in there is compacted well on the bottom, and the um, the polypin itself does actually feel really quite thick when you when you feel the edges of it. It's not kind of like a very flimsy plastic, and the tap the tap is not even. I haven't had. There's not a single drip come out since I poured that pint, which is quite positive that you could leave it on your, your kitchen side or in your garage and you're not going to come back and it's all going to be leaked everywhere but now that that's the head's risen that is it is really clear I've got to admit I don't know if you can pick it up at all but you can definitely see see me through it, it is it's stunningly clear for a for a kit beer Mm. And it's really sessionable. It's it is literally just like when you you know you go to a pub or something and they have a poly pin on or a, they've got a cask beer on. It's just kind of that 
gentle, gentle kind of carbonation. And the flavour is fantastic for Yeah, I, I can't see that lasting long. Once once that's opened and you've got a few people around, or even if you didn't have a few people around, that would soon go. It's beautiful. A little bit of sweetness when you go in, not too much. But definitely real real hit on the malts. Very kind of I'd say kind of almost chestnutty. It's kind of Definitely feels like a good winter beer anyway. I think I picked the right beer in going for the, the RF Red. Just something a bit different, I felt, for Christmas. But obviously there's, you know, there's six different ones you can get. But, yeah, I can wholly recommend that. The fact that you get everything included is, is a sure winner for, for new and, you know, people that have, haven't done the kit before. It's just excellent. And even if you didn't brew another beer kit up in that you'd certainly use the bucket for something else it's it's fantastic it's a brilliant idea and the, the inclusion of polypin that that needs to be in more beer kits in my opinion because that's the way forward i love that i, I definitely will reuse it it's fantastic so be sure to grab yourself one of the six nations kits if you get one in time you can enter the competition and get your chance to win a couple of tickets to the six nations and this is another fine pint i have to admit it's it's a cracking beer cheers